my dad was Andrew Condry. Uh, he was an amazing man. He was a, a dedicated family man. He was a hard-working, skilled tradesman. And he worked as a ship's carpenter in the yards in Renfrew. I think it was Lovnitz he worked in. Uh, as a family, uh, we grew up in Gallow Hill. We were a big happy family. He had a great interest in cine films and I think his main objective was to record the family growing up. Uh, and yes, this camera went everywhere with us, whether it was in walks, and holidays and special events. Uh, and when the film returned after developing, it was a big occasion. We all sat in the darkened room, projector out, and uh, we all had great fun watching the antics of the previous event. Dad's interest certainly shone through. Uh, he had interest in outdoor life and also shipbuilding. In fact, his own father was a shipwright in Lobnitz in Renfrew as well, so you can see that sh shipbuilding was in his family. He seemed to find out every main event to, to do with boats and he always grabbed myself and a few of the other kids down to, to watch it, to see it. I think it was because he wanted to go on the boats. Yeah. I think the memories of, of the, the Renfrew Airport was basically came out on our walks at the weekend. We walked up to the top end of Gallow Hill at Arkelson Road where we could look over onto the airport and you see the terminal building in the distance with the, the main runway which is actually the line of the M8 as we see, see it today. On the other side of that hill was the Arkelson Dye Works, uh, the pond which was there but he's now uh, filled in. My dad was in, into construction as well so he had an interest in the new building. It was, was of course an iconic building, uh, Sir Basil Spence and the building had main features like the the flagpole, the pond, the outdoor viewing gallery and of course there was also the, the on-street parking outside the front of the building which was quite amazing to see. Yeah. So you certainly wouldn't catch anyone walking in the motorway during construction uh, nowadays. I'm sure health and safety would have a, a few things to say about that. I think oh, as kids we wouldn't see any changes that were happening but certainly uh, looking back there was massive changes and it's actually great to have caught some of these events on film. I think it seemed to us looking back that it was a more innocent time but things were sim life was simpler then, uh, it was less materialistic uh, and uh, there wasn't that much in the way of money for family life going about. When Dad passed away, uh, the archives fell to me uh, and I felt it was only right that you had to get copy this information and get it out. But it's very difficult watching Cinefilm. So my main objective was convert it into a digital format so that we can have it edited. And all of my family, my brothers and sisters, they really enjoy watching, looking back on it. And it certainly jogs a memory eh, of, of where we were, what we were doing, the antics. And one of the great things that we see in the films is the next generation, our own kids, the lookalikes, it's, uh, the, the mannerisms is incredible to see. It's absolutely fantastic to see where we all slotted in in the family. You know, who was bossy, who was cheeky, who was whatever. And yes, it was it was absolutely amazing to see that. And uh, yeah, the cine film, the moving film, certainly captures the mood of everyone. Most of the most of the archives are family events, but in amongst that were these special events, places, and events. And it's only right just to get that out there to to let give people a chance to see them, yes. It is extremely important. It's clear to see that the films that, that we have, whether it be the family or the, the other occasions, they are showing real life. They're showing it as it is, as it was at the time. I would certainly encourage people to, to dig through their attics and get the archives out there and get them converted into a format that can be easily edited and shared. Uh, it's a difficult task, it's time consuming, but I really enjoyed doing it and I'm very pleased with the end results. My dad was, was always amazed with technology. He, was, he, he grasped it right from the early years and, and right until the day he passed away. He would have been really pleased with the, the end results. He would just have had one word after he had seen the, the edited versions. He would just have said it was marvellous.